This is the first time that we are doing a live collaboration. But I have to tell you that she actually designed her outfit. Oh, please. No, you did. <laughs> When it comes to an outfit or a garment, there's nothing more endless and timeless like a sari. When we think about time, there's so many different ways to think about it. We did a lot of research on archival portraits of like Parsi nobility, beautiful Indians wearing delicate pastel saris. And I think what Sabia did for us is he contemporized that sari. So we have additional drapes, we have beautiful fringing. And I think to actually move forward, you can't not look into the past. And I think that's what we've done to create our garden of time. Yeah, somebody asked me recently, and who's doing glam? Like, who's doing makeup? I was like, who else? <laughs> it's not even a question. Alia, I've worked with for almost nine years now. So we always discuss the look before we start. And the theme of the Met Gala this time is called Garden of Time. There were a lot of old world references that were uh, referred to. Alia had a few references also which she shared and we combined elements from each reference. What it came down to was to keep it looking very surreal and also like she had been outdoors so we enhanced her natural freckles and added a little bit more. For the mouth also uh, wanted colour to be a lot more sumptuous and uh, you know rose-like. It's very important for all of us to feel excited by the, yeah. everyone's yeah. contribution. It's very collaborative. But there's no ego basically, it's like... We're always it's... trying to find like a nice balance in everybody's work. So it complements and not like yeah. some... And the goal is to just achieve. Yeah. So there was a time where Puneet was knew me so well that she would get, give, give me like exactly what I needed for my birthday. And then my sister would be like so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, like I'm opening presents that Puneet has given me and Chai and just making this long face. Yeah, she used to get very upset. She used to be like, mm -hmm, <laughs> Starting from the theme, Garden of Time, we wanted to kind of keep it, keep it everything really timeless. But at the same point of time, I want to keep the hair kind of ethereal, old world charm. A lot of referencing from the Renaissance paintings, the texture from there. But we wanted to kind of make it look modern, so we went for a very undone kind of a texture, which is not polished. Then we had really liked this. There was an incorporation of a braid around the hair, and I thought that was very beautiful. I think Sabia has an eye like no other. He's a master at what he does, and uh, I feel so lucky, you know, to work with him every time that I do. If you feel your best, you look your best. And I've always felt my best wearing Sabya's clothes. I first met Alia in Mehboob's studio. I was very nervous because I was doing a shoot with her. And, you know, she was the big star and, and I'm very shy and I don't work very well with people that I don't know. So it was very comfortable and she barely, we barely spoke. But... <laughs> well, he said I became a, a fashion designer by accident. I'm actually, an like I really wanted to be an architect. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean that you were meant to do it. I want to do other things too. I have discovered that I would be a wedding planner. I love planning, I love plans. I don't think there's any other country in the world that has a more civilized and special and evolved craft than India. It's unique, it's dynamic, yet it's very timeless and it stood the test of time. I remember the first time I wore a sari was for um, Teacher's Day. I was in the ninth grade. Oh. And as I reached my school, my plates opened. <laughs> so I went into the bathroom and then, you know, yeah. they were like, like, baby, kya ho hai? And I'm, yeah. they're quickly, quickly they're putting my plates back for me. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Come on in. Sari draping 101. Come on. Oh, hello. Hello. Wow. You look amazing, Sabia. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Sorry, that part. And you know, you know, the exhibit is further divided into three parts. So there's land where you see beautiful flowers and butterflies, and then there's a sea in the sky. So we fuse both those colors to create the base color of the sari. 
I love the three-dimensional aspect of craft and I love jewelry because it helps me tinker a lot. It's, it, I love mathematics, so it's great. I'm great with geometry, so I think, I think, it, I think jewelry and stones and proportion comes naturally to me. When Sabia showed me the jewelry that could be possible, I said, you know, there's something about jewelry. So I was like, you know, we should really make this a jewelry story um, as much as possible without it being overwhelming. That's the beauty about the Met Gala is that every year there's a theme to work towards. And actually I find that that is a lot of fun. So even if you're going more there, it's, it's because there is a theme and there's a story behind the garment, right? You just want everything to all come together because the effort is so much. So, you know, you want everything to land, the story that you've worked towards for the, for the garment, for the look. And of course, sometimes there are hits, sometimes there are misses, but nobody really wants a miss, everybody wants a hit. Uh, so you're always like waiting till the last moment, you're like, oh, I hope it's a hit and not a miss.